these dead crazy. I'm on medication. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this tracked text effect instead of after effects. So the first thing we want to do is use the rotor brush here. So just select the rotor brush and go along your subject and just create like a pretty rough outline here. And it actually did a pretty good job selecting uh, him here so we don't really have to do much. And it should just select him the whole entire time here. Yeah, it doesn't really mess up at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit freeze. Basically, that's just going to freeze all of our frames so it doesn't mess up while we're editing uh, later on. Now that that's frozen, we can just exit out here and back in our main composition. Let's duplicate this layer. So hit control D and on the bottom layer, just delete the rotor brush. And I'm actually going to hide the top layer, the one with the rotor brush, just for a few seconds so I can go in and just use this bottom layer. So on this bottom layer, go into the tracker and hit track camera. Um, we're going to use these tracking like points and stuff for the text. So uh, yeah, you want to make sure that you're tracking the bottom layer and not the road brush drone or you might run into some issues. Now, as you can see, you have all these points here. And uh, if you don't have these points showing up or if it's like messing up, then you could try using the variable zoom here. So yeah, mess with that if you're having any issues. But yeah, this shot looks pretty good here. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a few points here and then just right click it hit create text and camera let's just go ahead and select the text and scale it down we can also move it around to wherever we want it to be so i'm going to place it somewhere up here as you can see it's tracked to the background and if you want you can go ahead and just keep duplicating this text so just hit Control D and then you can just move it down here. You can also rotate this text so you can hit R on your keyboard so you can kind of rotate it. You can scale it up again so it kind of layers over the other text. I'm going to do this one more time so I just duplicate the text and as you can see it looks like a mess right now so we obviously don't want it to look like this so I'm going to take the layers here and kind of trim them down so they pop up at different times so if i play this back it's starting to look a bit better but still super hard to see the text here so i'm going to actually move this one down now the next thing i'm going to do is change the color of these uh, different texts here so i'm just selecting this middle one here i'm just going to change the color to like white and then on the last one i'm going to change this to blue so it's looking pretty good right now but as you can see the last text here goes over our subject so with that rotor brush layer let's just bring it to the top and we can toggle it back on and now you can see the text is now behind him so i fixed that problem so now what we can do is add some different effects to our text um like some glow and stuff to kind of make it pop a bit more so in the effects and presets let's just use this basic glow that is built into after effects you can use deep glow or other glows that you have but i'm just going to use this default glow here bring down the glow threshold and then just like bump up this glow radius here and I'm just going to copy this effect and then paste it onto our other text layers here. And you can adjust it because as you can see, some of them just are a bit too much. So we can kind of bring it down a bit. I also like to add drop shadow to these uh, text layers. So bring it onto your text layer and then just mess with the opacity. Somewhere around 80% is pretty good. And then we can mess with the distance here. And then the softness, I'm going to bring it to like 20%. So I'm just going to do the same thing and paste it to these other text layers kind of just separates the text a bit more so you can see it. You can see it just a bit better from the other text layers. So now I'm going to go ahead and animate these different text layers here. There's a lot of different ways you can animate your text, but I'm just going to use this effect called simple choker. I'm just going to bring this onto our first text layer and you want to make sure that it's above your drop shadow and the glow because if it's not, then it's going to look a little weird when you like mess with it. As you can see, the text just doesn't look right. So when it's above here, you can see that your effects are actually applied. But when it's down here, it just turns into like Play-Doh. So, so yeah, make sure that it's above the effects here and just bring this all the way till you can't see the text. So I guess like a hundred, you could just do a hundred honestly if you want, but set a keyframe at the start and then just go a few frames over and then bring it to zero. I'm going to hit U on my keyboard to bring up the keyframes, F9 to easy ease them. And then I'm just going to create a pretty quick little graph here to kind of smooth it out. I'm actually going to bring this point down like this. I think that will look a bit cleaner. So I like how that's looking. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these keyframes, the other ones. And as you can see, it pastes uh, below all of our effects. So we just want to go ahead and bring that all the way to the top. And there we go. That's pretty much all you have to do for this effect. Um, you can go ahead and add some like grain. As you can see in this example, I have an adjustment layer with some grain in a vignette. So I'm just going to copy this adjustment layer paste it onto here and i just selected this preset here and then didn't really mess with anything else so yeah i think this just kind of sells the effect a bit more and makes the text look i guess a bit more realistic um without the grain i don't know it just looks a bit off so yeah i'd recommend messing with some grain and a vignette kind of see if that effect looks good in your video but yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you want to see more videos like this in the future then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out